All right, Audrey Howes now and her next dive, which will be a forward two and a half. Well done. Lacking a little bit at the end to really reach full vertical. Before and then the twist. She goes with the twisting first and then going into pike. Probably more suitable for the tower on this one. Get to that vertical at the end. It really is interesting how you can do the same dive in so many different ways with so many different techniques. Renee Batala, and she'll be doing a back arm stand double somersault pike position. And we don't forget about that. As an athlete, that's in the back of your brain every time you do it. Very confident in the handstand today, though. Good job. Very nice dive. Didn't happen on this one. And everything happens so fast for the judges, right? They see it once. Up next, Megan Lupa. If you look on the hand on the left side of the screen there, she's got almost a brace on her hand. I know at the start of the week she had quite a bruised hand. She's battled through that and form. If your, if your hand is bruised or you have... So uh, lots of courage could be in this event with this injury that she's fighting here. Kate Miller coming up now. You said it before, more big dives for her. Doing this dive, it's a... Uh, she's very fast spinner, so she has the potential to do this one very well. Oh! oh. So unfortunate at the end because you mentioned it, such a fast spinner. There's plenty of space there. Because this was a good takeoff, tight position. But when you come out of that rotation here, she keeps her head way in. So it, then it's impossible to stop the body. Always want to look for the water and look where you're going. Jose Guerra, the coach. Moving on with Eloise Belanger. Be looking for speed in the rotation here for Eloise. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it looks like she got a little bit excited and then come on, maybe touch. But then lines up forward. You really have to go reach for that water. Next up, Selena Todd. And I have seen this dive go down for Ken's in this pool, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well done. <laughs> but solid tuck position. And she mentions it here. You see the reaction. Maybe she didn't yeah. dab her hands properly because that's all that was missing. Elena Dick coming up now with a reverse two and a half tuck position. A very decent dive. I feel like she helped. She had the confidence to look back and reach for the water, which did a little bit of damage control on the entry. Um, Kaylee McKay from the Point Claire Diving Club. Yeah, the, in back, her list. the back and reverse spinner for Kaylee. I know she was doing the reverse three and a half a little while and working on the back three and a half, and I've seen very good. Good job. Not a big mistake here. And she jumped so high. So the precision in the come out has to be there all the time. And here's just a tiny bit early, which leaves her body short from the vertical. But there's always, there's always an infinite number of things you could have done. But she's comfortably sitting in first place. That 325 mark is very attainable for Kaylee. Last dive for her will be a forward three and a half pike position. Always want to make sure to calculate that approach to make sure you land at the end of the tower. Tiny bit at the end, bring up that splash. Yeah, you mentioned the speed and the approach and the length of it. You want to create that momentum, the more rotations you have to do. All right. It's the end of a day's work for Audrey. Very nice performance. Renee Batala will end the day with a back two and a half pike. 
seen her do this very well also. Oh, oh there it is. The end. And she really chooses to slow down the rotation with a really tight pike position though. So the big quality here is that she knows exactly for, her to for her to finish off with that, I know she's had a hard week here. She's been really training hard. And the pressure's on for Megan Lupa now doing the same dive. Let's see if it gives her a little push to have a good end to the meet. Oh, yes, it does. Nice dive. Good response. Absolutely. Good, good takeoff on the dive. Got to be a bit more precise in the lineup at the end, not to create that splash, but it... All right, <clears throat> difficult day for Kate Miller on the 10-meter platform today. And you can note how she stands right on the very edge of the tower. That's because the divers are often doing synchro with one another in another event. All right, oh. very good way to end for Kate there. She can feel good about that, knows what to work on to try and be more consistent over the five dives in the list because she has all it takes to be a great contender. In her. And that confidence showed in this one. Let's hope for the same now for Eloise Bélanger. Had a rough day today. Just like like to stand off a little bit longer on the twisters for me i like to stand less time because coming out the wrong time and doing the wrong one it uh it always gets me a little rattled that happened to me and it turned into a magical wipeout <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that all right here we go good wow. job psychologically that's important good takeoff that last impression of the entry, though, is what the judges are going to see. The last thing they see is she goes through the water. All right. Coaches are smiling. Also knows there's some work to be done. All right, Selena Todd, super steady so far. Time to lock in. Everything was there. Good takeoff, straight up in the air, tight tuck. She breaks the 300 barrier, but not quite that 325 that we're looking for for the World Championships. All right, two more dives to go. Elena Dick, her last one is the arm stand back, double somersault, one and a half twist. She's also having a good day. But you see the body wiggling a little bit. That's what created that splash. Got to be tight. Lock those elbows for the rip oh, entry. Oh, 299 on that. I think Kaylee McKay. Her last one will be a back two and a half, one and a half twist. She seems solid from the start of this event. Wow. Well done. There's your Canadian national champion. <laughs> Absolutely. Jumping a little far out from the platform. That makes it hard at the end to control. Really stop the rotation. Up to nine. 374. Wow. That is a good score. And you can see the shoulders coming down. The pressure is off. The score is made. Qualified for world championships with a really good performance. First, Selena Todd in second place. Elena Dick in third. All right, one more day of competition at these nationals here.